So today my daughter was telling me that my car threw, a, and well, it turned on the check engine light. So I came home and plugged in my uh, my little reader, and uh, it's a P, what was it, 21, 22, I think it was, um, the accelerator pedal sensor. Now, I've had this code before, and in fact, before we moved from Oklahoma, I was having this problem quite often, and it was actually mostly when my daughter was driving the car, incidentally enough, but anyways... So I had my dad actually, um, because we were moving, um, and I knew we'd be stopping by the farm on the way, uh, along the way during our move, I had him do some looking around at some salvage yards, and he found an accelerator putter, pedal for me. And uh, as I'll show you in a minute, the pedal and that uh, sensor are all just one big thing. And he actually got it for like 20 bucks or 25 bucks, somewhere in there. So the part numbers match, so I'm going to swap it out and see if that takes care of my problem. So uh, let me show you what I'm show you what I'm gonna do. All right, under the footwell here, I've taken out some fascia and whatnot uh, because I also have to get up under here, as you've seen in a previous video probably. I'll link to it if you ha haven't seen it yet, but I've got to replace that mode door actuator up there as well. It's on order and on its way. So again, with my car daily driver becoming a parts car. Or sorry, well, a parts car too, a uh, project car. So here's the accelerator pedal. Um, up underneath here, it fastens to the firewall by three nuts up there on three studs. There's one at the bottom, there's two at the top. I need to unplug this, I need to take this red clip off of here and unplug that wire, undo those uh, nuts, and then this thing should come off. And then, oh, let me show you what I've got. Uh, and sorry if the lighting gets poor in here. So this is what, uh, actually there's a Haynes manual that actually takes you through step by step how to actually repair, repair or replace this thing. This is what my dad got me. Accelerator pedal. There's the, uh, the, the switch that's bad. Here's the part number. Oh, whoa, there it is. So this came off of a Saturn that was in a salvage yard in Iowa. There's where the wiring harness plugs in. Um, there's where two of the nuts go, or two holes for two studs at the top, and uh, one at the bottom. And that thing just goes in there. So I'm going to stick this in there and see if that uh, takes care of my problem. Step number one disconnect the negative battery terminal. All right, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to get this, but I got to get this clip off here. I may have to go get a pick. All right. There we go. Unplugged. There's the wiring harness. Next up. Sorry about the camera work here. That's pretty bad. Next up will be to get those two nuts off and one off the bottom. I'm gonna need two hands to do this, one to actually hold myself up and the other to run the ratchet. All right. So, I've got it loose, got it unplugged, and out it comes. And there it is. Whole one is out. All right, I have the accelerator pedal put in, the old one out, the quote unquote new one in. Now I just have to try to get this thing plugged in and try to do it relatively easily. Wow. And boom. It's in. Sorry I couldn't record the uh, screwing on of those nuts to those uh, studs that were sticking out, but I just had to put myself in a very awkward position to even reach them. But there it is. Now, let's fire it up and see if it works. All right, moment of truth. Okay, started. It works. My TPMS light is blinking because 
I need to replace some sensors, probably all four of them, but I'm not, I'm too cheap to do that. But no check engine light. That's the key. So it seems to work. Uh, I won't really know how well it works until I can get it out on the road and actually do, uh, drive it around a little bit and test it out, road test it. Uh, we'll be driving it around for the next few days and if uh, the mill comes back on, I'll check it out with the uh, OBD2 scanner and let you know if it's the same problem or not. But at this point, when I press on the accelerator, I see RPMs going up, so it's a good sign. I'll keep you posted.